Hello YouTube, here I have another finished uh, 6K micro keypad with the rotor encoder and I'm using it with Eagle and Photoshop uh, since I have a 60 key um, keyboard it doesn't have arrow keys so that's what I use up here but that I just switch to the other level and then I have the arrow keys, back key, delete key and when I use it for Eagle I have a print last screen and home print screen save and escape and the rotor encoder is used for volume and for muting the PC which comes quite handy uh, for YouTube videos uh, this is my last one this one goes out to Shane thank you for your order I greatly appreciate it and I also wanted to thank everybody who uses my Banggood affiliate links uh, it does help me and uh, it takes a while till you get something out of it because they wait till the order goes through and some time passes so people would not order and just return it and I would still get my commission so but that's okay I'm getting used to waiting for everything so this is my macro keypad and uh, it is done it will be shipped tomorrow and what you see here is my colored can gauge mini which is almost ready uh, the code is i would say done to 99 percent but i am editing the pcb and i am creating as you know this is the touch sensor which is normally used from the back as you see here and what I wanted to do is uh, use my own touch sensors so since the front will be carbon fiber and it's conductive you cannot use a touch sensor behind the carbon fiber so I figured I do it this way and it will be part on the front part on the back and it will be on the edge also so once you touch the edge it will switch and on this I have 15 screens and this will have forward and backward capability plus I'm using an LDR for the dimming of the display and the neopixels but I will show that in another video when the code is done so I can show it to you more in detail anyhow this is about this uh, keypad I'm currently sold out. I'm waiting on new PCBs and on these tiny little guys here, which are actually the NeoPixels. And uh, these are side emitting NeoPixels, and the pins are on the bottom. They're completely covered once you put them on the board and uh, you see how tiny those are and I'm putting the solder paste by hand on those pads on the PCB of course and place the NeoPixels on there uh, it's a pain in the butt but <laughs> it looks real nice I think so this was it uh, thanks for watching thank you for using my affiliate link in um, Banggood and uh, thank you for any donations you might make thanks for watching and take care everybody